I may rephrase it, but it's something like, how can I be a Christian and study Kabbalah at the same time and not have any contradictions in the relationship between both ways? Kabbalah, Zohar, makes a Christian a better Christian, a Muslim a better Muslim, an Israelite a better Israelite, an atheist a better human being. It's not here to convert you. It's here to empower you. The liver cell doesn't convert to become a heart cell. The heart cell doesn't try and become a kidney cell. Heart cells serve their function. Kidney cells do their function. Uh, the pancreas cell performs its function. But the Zohar is like the blood that flows through all the organs, nurturing and nourishing those organs. So, and he asks, can he still go to church and be a Kabbalah student? I just answered that. Not only can he still go to church, he'll be a better church goer, a better human being when he's in that place, and he's going to understand what he's getting from that place better and becoming a living example of the true teachings of that church because they're all found and rooted in Zohar, and Zohar takes away the literal meaning and shows you the beautiful spiritual essence of what's hidden inside scripture. Okay, thank you very much. One question